The title of Hokage is one of honor, power, and immense responsibility. Throughout history, the Hidden Leaf Village has been led by some of the greatest shinobi the world has ever known. But the question remains, is Naruto Uzumaki, the seventh Hokage, truly the strongest of them all? In today's video, we'll explore Naruto's true power, comparing him to his predecessors, from his legendary battles to his unparalleled mastery of the Nine Tails. We'll debate whether Naruto truly surpasses all previous Hokage. Act 1 Naruto's journey to becoming the 7th Hokage was anything but ordinary. Born as the son of the 4th Hokage, Minato Nam Namakaze, and the Uzumaki clan's formidable Konoichi Kushino Uchiha, Naruto's life should have been one of privilege and guidance, but instead, he was raised in isolation, shunned by the village, for the beast sealed within him, the nine-tailed fox, Kuruma. Despite the difficulties he faced, Naruto never gave up. Through sheer determination and hard work, he quickly went from being the village outcast to one of the most promising young shinobi of his generation. His signature shadow clone jutsu, along with his relentless spirit, marked the beginning of his rise to greatness. As Naruto grew, comparisons to the Hokage who came before him began to emerge. Could this mischievous, loud-mouthed child ever measure up to the legends like Hashirama Senju, the first Hokage, or Minato Namikaze, the Yellow Flash? To answer that, we need to look deeper into the power dynamics of the Hokage line. One thing is clear, Naruto inherited more than just physical traits from his parents. His connection to his father's legacy as the fourth Hokage is undeniable, especially with his mastery of the Rasengan, a technique that Minato himself had perfected. But Naruto's path to surpassing his father and the others would be paved with far greater trial. To understand whether Naruto is truly the strongest Hokage, we need to take a closer look at his predecessors. Starting with the first Hokage, Hashirama Senju, known as the God of Shinobi, Hashirama possessed a power that was nearly unmatched in the ninja world. His mastery of the wood style, his ability to control the Nine Tails, and his immense chakra reserves made him a legend among legends. Hashirama's power wasn't just in his jutsu, he was a leader who united the warring clans to form the Hidden Leaf Village, a feat of both diplomacy and strength. So how does Naruto compare to this titan of the past? Naruto's strength comes from a different source, his bond with the people around him. Like Hashirama, Naruto had immense chakra reserves and incredible techniques, but his true power lies in his ability to connect with others. Throughout his journey, Naruto transformed not just himself, but those around him, including former enemies like Kurama. Next, we have the second Hokage, Tobirama Senju, a shinobi known for his intelligence, tactical genius, and innovative jutsu. Tobirama created some of the most influential techniques in the ninja world, including the flying thunder god technique and the impure world reincarnation, or the Edo Tensei, as we like to call it for a simple sense. Tobirama was also responsible for many of the foundational systems of the Hidden Leaf, including the creation of Konoha's police force. His contributions to the village were immense, but his combat abilities were equally impressive. So, how does Naruto, a shinobi known for his heart rather than his tactical mind, stack up? While Naruto may not have the tactical mind of Tobirama, his creativity in battle is unmatched. Naruto's ability to adapt and innovate with his techniques, especially his mastery of the Shadow Clone Jutsu, has allowed him to overcome even the most cunning opponents. In terms of raw combat ability, Naruto's unique approach to battle gives him an edge Tobirama might not have expected. Ruzen Sarutobi, the third Hokage, was known as the Professor for his mastery over every jutsu in the Hidden Leaf. A brilliant tactician and powerful shinobi, Ruzen protected the village through some of the most dangerous times, including the Second and Third Great Ninja Wars. 
Iruzen's strength came from his deep well of knowledge. He was a shinobi who could adapt to any situation and had a wide range of jutsu at his disposal. But when we compare him to Naruto, we see a different kind of strength. Naruto's strength isn't just in his jutsu, it's in his overwhelming chakra reserves, his partnership with Kurama, and his mastery of the Sage of Six Paths power. While Hiruzen's strength lay in his versatility and wisdom, Naruto's raw power and the ability to draw strength from others far surpasses anything the third Hokage could achieve. Minato Namikaze, the fourth Okage, also known as the Yellow Flash, was renowned for his incredible speed and his mastery of space-time ninjutsu. His Flying Thunder God technique allowed him to move faster than the eye could see, and his strategic brilliance made him one of the most feared shinobi of his time. But Minato's greatest legacy wasn't his speed or his jutsu, it was his son, Naruto. By sealing half of Kurama within Naruto, Minato ensured that his son would one day become the key to saving the world. But the question remains, has Naruto surpassed his father? While Minato's speed and intelligence were legendary, Naruto has surpassed his father in nearly every way. With the full power of Kurama and the Sage of Six Path abilities, Naruto's strength dwarfs even a yellow flash, but Naruto's true strength isn't just in his jutsu, it's in his heart, and his unwavering will to protect those he loves. And next we have Tsunade Senju, the fifth Hokage, was a medical ninjutsu genius and a powerhouse on the battlefield. Her incredible strength combined with her unmatched healing abilities made her a force to be reckoned with. She led the village during one of its darkest times and played a critical role in rebuilding after the attack by pain. While Tsunade's abilities are formidable, Naruto's power far exceeds hers in terms of raw strength and chakra reserves. However, Tsunade's contributions as a leader and healer cannot be overlooked. Without her, the village may not have survived long enough to see Naruto rise to power. Now that we've explored the strengths of the previous Hokage, let's dive deeper into Naruto's true power. One of the biggest sources of Naruto's strength comes from his partnership with Kurama, the Dying Tail Fox, but their relationship wasn't always one of cooperation. For years, Kurama was a source of turmoil and instability for Naruto, but through sheer willpower and empathy, Naruto was able to turn Kurama from a source of destruction into his greatest ally. Together, their power rivals even the gods of the shinobi world. But Kurama is just one piece of Naruto's power. After receiving the Sage of Six Path abilities from Hagoromo Otsutsuki, Naruto's strength reached unprecedented levels. With the power of all the tail beasts and the ability to sense and manipulate nature energy, Naruto stands among the strongest shinobi to ever live. During the fourth great ninja war, Naruto proved time and time again that his strength was not just in his jutsu, but in his ability to inspire and unite people. He fought alongside the greatest shinobi of his generation and even surpassed them in many ways. His battle against Obito, Madara, and Kaguya Atsutsuki cemented his status as one of the most powerful shinobi in history. Naruto's final battle with Sasuke at the Valley of the End was not just a test of strength, it was a test of will. Despite their differences, Naruto's unbreakable resolve to save his friend and protect the village was what ultimately led to his victory. In this moment, Naruto's true power was not just his incredible jutsu, but his heart. So after everything we've seen, is Naruto truly the strongest Hokage? The answer is yes. But with a caveat, Naruto's strength is undeniable. With the power of Kurama, the Sage of Six Paths, and his unmatched resolve, Naruto has surpassed all who came before him in terms of raw power. But Naruto's greatest strength isn't just his power, it's his ability to inspire those around him. Like Hashirama before him, Naruto is a unifier, someone who brings people together for the greater good. He may be the strongest Hokage in terms of power, but what truly sets him apart is his heart and his unwavering belief in the power of friendship and unity. Naruto Uzumaki, the seventh Hokage, has achieved what many thought was impossible. He not only surpassed his predecessors in power, 
he also brought the true peace to the shinobi world. In the end, Naruto's strength isn't just in his jutsu, but in the ability to bring out the best in others, and for that, he will always be remembered as the greatest Hokage. Think Naruto is the strongest Hokage? Leave a comment below, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more debates and deep dives into your favorite characters. Seem to route. Peace.